Welcome to another trade of the day here at Trader TV Live. Avis, wow, with a monster beat. Uh, you're talking about huge EPS speed, guided higher, uh, just absolutely insane. But the real story is 20% short interest. Now, we show you guys winners, we show you guys losers. 11 times I would count on this one, I was 11 separate times I was short this name. It first gets on everybody's radar when it breaks out at 100. This is a 171 close, yesterday's action. So when it broke 100, you were already up a good 15% in terms of the move, and it was breaking, it gets a halt. Once it reopens, it's on the radar at 240 and 250 for even breaks, and everything was pretty calm here. Like, I was actually able to scalp some out. You can see very, very tightly clustered entries and exits, able to scalp, scalp some out for wins, and then get tight breaks. The same thing at 250, sort of get, oh, basically get sidetracked saying there's no way I want to take the whole price to the long. I don't do it. Clearly it would have been a win. And I wait for 300 again in and out about the same price. It then reopens, tries to hold the whole price in and out the same price. So far so good. Taking like paper cuts, looking for that top, not going into the long because you know, why would you do that? Right? And then you make another push into the 360 at the top. Another tightly clustered short. I actually had this one pretty good on the halt and then was able to get some shares out on the reopen for a win, but then it halts down. And I take shares into the halt down, I hold them into the reopen, it was a good 315 into 300, I'm like, okay, now we're up, things are looking fantastic, try to hold on to something, it's gonna flush down to 250, and it goes again. Long story short, tightly clustered shorts all the way through again, and then the one mistake, well, two mistakes that we made. The first one is, that's a long, didn't hold that long. 400 break, I decided to scalp it, Obviously, that was not the right call. Could have held it through the halt into a reopen. And then it breaks 450. And on the way back down, it's hard to tell in a one minute. On the way back down, I got a 448 short. And I'm going to put a stop in to cover myself on the right side of that 450. For the first time all day, I actually missed my stop. So that one mistake turns about a $7 to $8 gross hit, maybe five at the absolute, at the absolute best, uh, into about a $20 gross hit. So now it's like, okay, you've taken an actual hit on this stock, getting close, it's about 70 to 80% of my daily stop, taking all these paper cuts out. So now we sit around and wait. And I said this on the live show, it eventually gets to a point here when you get up to that 500 level, that it becomes either a fail break at an obvious price, or just wait for the halt down. And so at this point, that's all I'm gonna be doing. I wait for the halt down, able to grab shares at 481.50, and then here is where having a plan of action kind of got the better of me. On every single halt trade that I've done, pretty much in the last year or so, I'm looking to cover half the shares on the reopen and then hold if I had momentum with me. In this particular case, given how far it's gone and the squeeze up, I'm pretty confident it's gonna go down. But I still elect to take out half the position on the reopen. The cost of that decision is not just the $20 of gross here, but it's that I actually have half the less uh, that, that I want when it halts down and you're able to get the bigger winners here at first about $40 into the first halt then you're looking about $80 into 400 I'm actually still holding on to this but I could have been likely a little bit more aggressive in covering around VWAP if I had the full position on now this is one of those things where I have a set of rules and I will now adjust that plan of action based on what I saw here on the way up the halt trades were not just gapping higher, they were actually you know, opening, going lower, going lower, going lower. So on the way up, it's not like taking the halt was free money, so I should have anticipated on the way down that might be the same thing. So you can always learn a little bit of something here. Even though I got the top, I still broke a couple of rules on the way upside and missed one stop, and on the way down, I covered some way too early. Part of it due to a strategy, which I think I will adjust next time I see something like this. But let me know in the comment section how you did on Avis. There was nothing moving like this in the market. What an unbelievable trade and opportunity this was for you. I know some people that got that top as well, and congratulations to you there. And if you had a long on the way up, even better. As always, tune in in the mornings every single day the U.S. markets are open. Lunchtime for memes and movers, and back at Power Hour, see you in the markets.